thank you so much to 1020 somethings of you who are here and who are supporting my channel i am really grateful that you come back every single day and you click on these videos i can't even begin to tell you how much i'm grateful for that and i can only pray to god that he keeps blessing you and blessing you for showing me your support hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the good skin channel welcome back to curve cut i'm actually doing this intro laughing because i've spent almost an hour setting up these lights making sense of them and what i'm gonna do and also i have switched cameras so many times because i couldn't decide which one was giving me the image that i want and then this is my fourth take of this video so i'm hoping that this is the last one because i am tired of filming this and saying the same thing to be honest so um i had filmed this look during the day uh, and had used mineral powder but then uh, the video I had filmed during the day was a bit harsh with the lighting so I decided to film it again at night and this is at night and uh, so I've decided to do a get them ready with me so we're gonna take off my makeup and talk I do realize that on my IGTV I did post a video about uh, cleansing in the evening but unfortunately I don't have a choice because if I keep changing and changing then I'm not gonna have content to give you so yeah so let's just do this um, so happy new year by the way because this is actually gonna be my first video on youtube um since 2019 so happy new year i hope that the year goes well for you and i really honestly wish you well and you know i've just been thinking and um let me take off my makeup because it's so late and i need to sleep uh, so to remove my makeup tonight i'm going to be using the um this is the deep cleansing oil from uh, dhc and it's like one of my favorite favorite makeup removers and i'm just gonna be taking a, a cup of pump of that and i just love it because it's made of olive oil and it's so gentle so i have individual lashes on i'm such a weirdo because i can't put on strip lashes but i can put on individual lashes do you get do you get me is it that weird so 2018 for me was a year that ended and I'm beginning from 2018 because this journey that I'm on began then 2018 was a year that ended for me on a very emotional um, note if I could say so it was very emotional I think the lighting is making me look weird <laughs> but you know what I don't care right now uh, so 2019 was about finding myself finding who I am, what I am, what I want in life and everything and 2020 for me I have decided and I'm working on it being the year on which I create my financial freedom so even when the year began I actually began the year by checking on my finances they're not as great as I thought that they were and actually meeting with my financial advisor actually opened my eyes to so many things that are going on and my habits of spending money, how I spend money and everything. So um, 2020 for me is just a year of being responsible. I'm turning 30 this year, guys. So I want to feel responsible. I want to be responsible. I want to do the correct thing um, with my money, you know, because we're growing older we're getting sick sometimes there are more issues so it's better if we are prepared for the future now than to start rushing for it later you know what i mean so yeah i think my lash just came off so this is my my lash that i had put on i don't know if you can even see it it's so windy outside like the weather has been windy and cold and everything so it's the second week of jan and um has the year been so far the year has been okay you know i've just been thinking about me myself and i and my youtube journey uh guys you know to be honest i have been counting and i have been on youtube now for six years you know and i've just been wondering why is it that i've been on youtube for six years but i haven't been successful at it i haven't made the big milestones that i thought that i would have made by now and you know what i realized that I'm the one who stands in my way because I'm always there comparing and not feeling like my content is good enough compared to this one's content, content and that one's content and that one's content. So it becomes this whole big race 
of having better content than this one and that one so i get stuck there you know like that quote that says comparison is the killer is the killer of joy i think it's something like that i have definitely experienced that when it comes to this space and it made me so inconsistent because i'll be so discouraged um, to post my video and that's why I've just been pushing myself even though it's not coming out the way I want I keep filming and filming it so I, I don't have an excuse not to post the video yeah so yeah um, this year I want to be consistent on YouTube I mean I hit my biggest milestone in YouTube last year and that was I reached my 1,000 subscribers which I feel I should have reached a long time ago but then again I'm an overachiever um, I broke my nail for that. I am an overachiever. And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of feeling like I should stop pressurizing myself uh, when it comes to YouTube because I will succeed at it, but I have to be myself. So that has been kind of the thing that I have been thinking about a lot this 2020. Uh, but especially when it comes to me being a um, content creator, uh, is to just accept that I'm not. I'm not all these other YouTubers. I'm not them. They are them and I'm me and I'm special and I'm unique and that you guys are actually here because you're actually interested in what I'm saying and shouldn't feel so insecure about the content that I put out because it's actually good. It's informative because you've given me that feedback. So I should just get over it. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash my face. My makeup has come off. Don't worry, the lighting is what is making me look so ashy. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's absolutely not that my skin is this ashy, okay? So, uh, to cleanse my skin, I'm going to be using this sensitive cleansing gel from Su... It's called Su Kin. And it's a product I've been curious um, of that I found in Clicks the other day. Um, and then I got this uh, to cleanse my face because my skin is sensitive with the dryness and everything. So I'm just going to take some of that, just a pump like that and I'm gonna wash my face with that. So I have washed my face, I have actually double cleansed. I have this little bag here and it has all these little samples and bottles of products that I'm currently trying out. Um, that was a Korean beauty, this is from Lancome, it's a makeup remover. It's so windy guys, I'm not even joking. I need to find a way to keep this dough from making noise. So I'm going to tone and I'm going to use this Lotion Deuce. This is an extra comfort toning lotion. This one by Clarins. This is the one that I'm going to use to tone my skin. Um, I like to try out products. I'm like a sample queen. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, this year and I apply my toner with my hands and I'll explain why in the video. Uh, this year we are focusing on better content, useful content, planned content, organized content. I just want to feel organized and other than just YouTubing but like personally I need to like start waking up early, doing things early because you know I've actually learned that when you wake up early you get to do so much more than you would when you get up late so I, I want to start with up at like six or seven and then try and do more with my day you know I put on this individual lashes now I'm feeling they're only gonna come up tomorrow and if I pluck it out it's gonna be so so I'm going to now put on some eye cream I think I'm gonna spray my skin with some of this Evian water Evian thermal water my, my skin is feeling a little bit dry today I think it's because I had applied so much foundation This is just to help my toner because I can feel my toner already feeling a little bit, you know. And then I'm gonna put on eye cream and I have this little one from Estee Lauder, which I've actually been using for quite a while. I'm gonna put under here. 2020 for me is really, as I was saying, it's windy. And then now it's gonna start making noise. It's really about changing some of my bad habits. I have terrible habits. You know, even when it comes to eating, it's something that I have to work on. I just feel like how this little thing feels. Like it feels like I'm having a massage. It's like a little bowl or something. It makes me feel like I'm 
having a little bit of massage because I need it. I'm tired, but I've got my eyes, they're so red. So yeah, I'm just tired from talking in these videos because yeah, I have done like four, this is number four and I have been talking in them so much. I get I'm tired. So, um, also this year I have been really thinking about how much money I spend on beauty products, guys. I spend a lot of money on beauty products. It's so unnecessary. I have cupboards and cupboards full of beauty products that I'm not using, that I haven't used. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, please follow me so that you can be part of my giveaways because I think I'm going to have to give away a lot of them. And just honestly, um, just this whole thing of consumerism is just not sitting right with me the way we're buying all these products and just piling up piling up as in if you see my skincare and you see my makeup it's terrible so this year i really want to work on that so for moisturizing i'm going to use also from sukin and it's this moisturizer i've actually shared it with you guys i think the other day i am going to use that um, I'm really keeping it simple lately because I'm tired half the time and I just don't have the energy to be honest I don't have the energy. I'm too tired I just want to make sure that my skin is clean and that I sleep well and you know So I'm very excited for this year um, Like also if you have habits from before that you're trying to change share them with me you know because like i said sometimes you're the one standing in your own way and that's just how i really feel that i was standing in my own way with a lot of things um you know this year i'm going to talk a little bit more about my entrepreneurship i'm going to talk a little bit more about um traveling how i travel how i save how i invest you know we're gonna try and expand this channel and not just stick to skincare because i also get bored when i only talk about skin you know because it's like something i do every single day so i don't want to come here and only talk about skin i don't enjoy it i enjoy talking about skin but not talk about it all the time i don't like that it makes me really tired so on my lips i've used this lip balm and this one is from userin and it really helps me i just want you guys to see it so that if you come into it you can give it a try uh, there we go. So that's what it, it looks like um, It's been really fantastic with my lips uh, Because my lips are super dry again because of the Accutane and I'm actually hoping that this year my dermatologist will take me off of Accutane I don't know if it's gonna agree, but uh, I'm tired and it's just cracking up my lips and just making me dry I don't like it. So that's it for my nighttime routine guys. Uh, I'm honestly done. I'm ready to go to bed <laughs> Um, but today I wanted to show you something so every Sunday I take my vitamins I think the only one I have forgotten is my collagen and I take these ones and these are from vital um, one is for hair skin and nails so to strengthen my hair my and my nails um, and then the other one is omega-3 which is like very good healthy fats for my body and then I will also take a pill of collagen in my bedroom and then I also have my Roaccutane which I take every evening um, I take one so I'm just gonna pop some of these so of course this year it's all about you know skin popping skin looking good feeling good self-care self-love and everything but please guys let's just focus on the money a bit this year so that's what my Accutane pill is just that little pill I'll do that. and then I take these vitamins once a week because I really believe that the things that we eat have a lot of these and I add this to my diet because I just want to support um, my nutrition so maybe once or twice a week I'll take these pills uh, I don't take them every day I don't like the idea and then these are for hair skin and nails and that's what they look like and then I'm just gonna take those mm. and also I take my pills in the evening because you're sleeping 
I feel like while we're sleeping, this is gonna help you more. And then when I wake up, I'm gonna go walk or go to the gym. So I'm gonna use energy and everything and just get to spread it all over the body. That's just my own self belief. You can ask your daughter if it's true or not, but it works for me. That's my life update basically for 2020. I don't wanna make it too complicated or too deep. To be honest, like I said, 2018, too emotional. 2019, when I began 2019, it was so rough because I had just came back home from burying my older brother. It was really rough. So I was going for help, going for therapy and everything. So 2019 was tough. It was a tough year for me. So 2020, I want to focus on myself. I want to do bigger, better things. And I want to work on myself because, you know, it's not like just because it went from the 31st of December to the 1st of January, that you're suddenly gonna be a different person and you're gonna change. It just doesn't, life just doesn't work like that. So it takes work, it takes dedication, it takes sacrifice, it takes a lot to actually get to where you wanna be. So 2020 is that year for me when I'm willing and ready to make the sacrifice. So 2020 is the year for making the sacrifice just trying very hard to go forward i'll see you in my next video if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share i always ask you guys to share because sharing is caring but also don't forget to comment and just talk to me about what your 2020 looks like so far um what plans you have to it what for it i mean what what's going through your mind right now and what is it that you have planned um so for me health money self-care that's all because I have to look after myself so guys i'm exhausted i want to you know right now all i'm thinking about is my bed so i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much to 1020 somethings of you who are here and who are supporting my channel i am really grateful that you come back every single day and click on these videos I can't even begin to tell you how much I'm grateful for that and I can only pray to God that he keeps blessing you and blessing you for showing me your support. So thank you so much guys. I'll see you in my next video. Good night.